Music First is transforming young lives in the North London Borough of Islington through the dedication of its students and staff and with the power of music. Its origins lie in the city of Caracas in Venezuela. Bob and Carol Pepper travelled to that city and during their six-week stay they studied the system known as El Sistema. This is a project that fights against poverty because a child who is materially poor becomes spiritually rich through music. And once the child has been enriched by music spiritually, he's well prepared to go on and succeed in society. The carefully devised programme of learning is demanding but great fun. There is an atmosphere of excitement and commitment as the students take part in the musical activities, games, choirs, theory, individual instrumental lessons, sectionals and of course the full orchestral rehearsals. Break time is important too. Many of the students come from very disadvantaged and dysfunctional backgrounds, but once inside their centre they have a purpose and focus in an environment where they feel secure. We, we are not expect, expecting them to be great musicians. If I have a nuclear with 10,000 kids and just one become musician, it's a mission accomplished. We're just, uh, you know, right here now, we're, we're just so excited about it. Can't wait to get back home. Uh, and from what we've learnt here is to apply these techniques back home with the children there, um, access the poorest families, give them the real opportunity. I, I think it's going to be life-changing for them and for us. Can't wait. Well, Music First um, is the name we've come up with, and I, th I think it's a really good one. And I really think we've started to succeed. Um, it's great to see uh, the joy on the, on the kids' faces, whether they're in the primary school or the secondary school. Uh, so we've got uh, children age range from six and seven right up to 15, 16 involved, playing a range of instruments, whether it be strings, woodwind or brass. Uh, the aim is that they all join in and take part in large group orchestra. That's, that's, that's what we're heading towards. And so we're very thrilled about that. Got a great bunch of teachers. Again, they're very enthusiastic. They don't give up. You know, they always make sure that the kids progress and they, they find new ways to teach. If, if one way doesn't work, they're finding another way. Also, we've got this amazing partnership now of um, Islington Council, Dame Alice Owen Foundation, Cambridge Education, the schools themselves. You know, loads of people involved in the whole thing. And there's a real feeling that this is going somewhere. Islington seemed to be the perfect choice for Music First. It's one of the most diverse boroughs in London. It has so many different walks of life living and working next to each other. It's also the home of the London Symphony Orchestra, the OAE, and to be able to put all those things together to give children a real chance to develop socially and musically seemed a great opportunity and one that I was glad to be invited to be involved in. We decided to launch Music First at the Barbican, one of the country's leading music venues. And it was such a joy and an honour to see those young people take the stage for the first time, many of whom had only been playing for just a few weeks. Uh, and to be able to compose music for them was a great privilege. We had so many different types of music happen at that event. We had samba bands, we had jazz bands, we had full-scale symphony orchestras. Fantastic to see. Now we're preparing for our next concert at the Union Chapel and that's going to be an even bigger event. We had about a hundred primary children at the Barbican accompanied by secondary children. Now we've grown to almost 350 children that will be performing at the Union Chapel. So that's been a mammoth task to undertake.
classical music inspire young children to stay out of trouble? Well, one project in North London believes so. Based on an idea from Venezuela, it encourages young people to pick up an instrument and be part of an orchestra. And tonight, there's a special performance to showcase their newfound talents. Well, Mark Ashdown is there for us this evening. And uh, Mark, how have they been sounding? Well, great, Riz. When I was a kid, the focus in music lessons was very much on the triangle or the recorder. Well, I'm pleased to say there aren't too many of those on stage here tonight. We're at the Union Chapel in Islington, which has seen some pretty famous and big acts over the years, but perhaps nothing quite like this. Quite a lot of these kids on the stage here tonight who are in the middle of a performance, as we can see, uh, not so long ago would never have picked up an instrument before. Yet here they are, being inspired by the power of music. He might live in Highbury, just around the corner from Arsenal, but football has never really interested Lawrence. Like a growing number of young people in this area, he's recently found music. I just love um, the sound. I just like the way I can feel the music and I love like, producing it. Do you think people would be surprised that you're you know, a young man you know, into, into music rather than, say, football and stuff? Yeah, I think so. It has happened sometimes when people are surprised. They might also be surprised by the sheer scale of the Music First project. 300 children from numerous local schools, all involved in this, the biggest concert of its kind. I like how loads of people from different schools can come together and just like enjoy music together. I like the concerts, I like the opportunities that it gives us really, like kids from disadvantaged backgrounds. I enjoy it a lot. What do you enjoy about it? Making music. Yeah. You nervous about tonight? No. An orchestra is a unique group because people can come together, they have to work together, it's like a big family and they really appreciate that group ethic that goes on when you, when you play music. Um, and I, children love to achieve wherever they, whatever their background and this really gives them an opportunity to do that. It's disciplined, they can see they're making progress. This might be the first orchestra like this in London but judging by the reactions here it's unlikely to be the last. Well, as you can hear, the atmosphere here is fantastic and expansion is very much on the agenda. In the short term, they want to do more of these concerts, get more people uh, to see their gifts, their newfound talents, but they also want to try and replicate the Music First template across London and beyond, get more young people involved. The only problem there, of course, is they might need an even bigger venue. There is. <laughs> I'm sure they'll find one. Mark, thank you. Parents are getting very involved already with this and we're going to increasingly involve the wider community in what we're doing. I think it will make a major impact, yes, in terms of how the whole community works with the school environment and I think it's going to be socially enhancing. The children from the primary schools now meet on a Thursday at one of our local secondary schools where we've created a hub, which is essentially an opportunity for them to come together. They have musicianship classes where they learn music theory, music literacy, oral skills and so forth. Then they have sessions in their sectionals, so our lower and upper strings play together. And then at the end of it, they all play together as a whole orchestra. And intertwined with that, we have tutors who teach them pairs and individually to just enhance the kind of instrumental skills that they're already learning within their schools. Well, the great thing about Music First is that it gives lots of children the opportunity to learn an instrument who might not have had that opportunity. So not just those that can afford to, but actually those who want to. It's putting into their hands a range of classical instruments which they may not have considered playing before. It's making sure that they can play with their peers, with their friends, so nobody feels like they're excluded in any way. And I just think it's a nice way for them all to come together within their communities as well. Some of them go and practice at their friends' houses and it's a way of bringing everybody together. Well, thank you very much for, for watching this film. As you can see, we are very passionate about what we do here at Music First. Um, we would welcome very much um, anybody who, who is interested in this project to come along and look at this on the ground at Islington. But we're talking about philanthropists, charitable organisations, art councils, whatever. People who are really interested in how music can make a difference to children's lives.